it's time to kick off summer with a sweet watermelon design. This is gonna be a really simple and easy design, but I'm taking a white watercolor pencil and I'm outlining the word summer. It's kind of hard to see on this rock. And then I'm gonna come back with a pink Posca paint pen and I'm going to outline the top, probably about two thirds of each letter with pink because this is a watermelon design. So all of our letters are going to be in the theme of a watermelon. Then I'm gonna come through with kind of a cream colored Posca paint pen and do just a little sliver. If you think about the, the rind on a watermelon, I'm gonna put this little sliver and then take a disposable eyeliner brush to kind of blend it in with the pink. Now I'm bringing my green Thule Art paint pen and I'm going to create the rind on my U, which is gonna be a watermelon for summer. And then I'm gonna add the green paint to the bottom of all of the letters. So you can see how the design's coming together that U is instead gonna be a slice of watermelon for summer. And again, I'm gonna kind of blend the colors together with that disposable eyeliner brush so they, they don't have a hard line just kind of making them soft and blended. And as I'm finishing up this watermelon, I am just kind of shocked that we're headed into summer already. I don't know where the first half of the year went. It's gone so fast, but yet there's been moments where it's felt like it dragged, but more often than not, it just zoomed by on us and school is almost out and hot weather's finally coming and it's just crazy to me. Now off to the side, I'm gonna make some little pink kind of splatters or like, they're like juice splatters. If the watermelon juice were to kind of splatter coming off of the S and then coming off the end of the word on the bottom as well. Now I'm gonna come back through with my Posca PC1MR paint pen and I'm gonna write hello in script and then come back and thicken up all of my downstrokes to give that faux calligraphy look. This stone, like the last video, is also from Stones by Shelly. It's a really pretty rock. It's got all these beautiful natural lines in it, so I didn't wanna cover those up. I do wish that I had covered this design with Mod Podge before I resined it, and you'll see why at the end. But for now, I'm gonna take this tiny dotting tool and do a dot and drag technique to create my watermelon seeds and I should have moved the camera so you could see it from the side but basically I'm putting it down like a dot and just sliding it a little bit to create that shape of a watermelon seed. Next I'm going to add some of this extreme hologram glitter paint to our little juice splatters just to give it a little dimension and pick up on the light a little bit better. And now I'm gonna take an uni pin fine line pen and outline all of the letters to give it a nice dimension. And then I'm gonna add some dots of color to hello. Now, if I had put Mod Podge over the design at this point, the stone would have stayed lighter like it was before the resin. The other thing I could have done was done the word hello in white paint. So just some small lessons learned, but I'm not so sure the finder is gonna be super concerned about how dark the rock got. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch. I hope your summer gets off to an amazing start. Take care and I'll see you next time.